will be the challenge to the team. You are working with two of us, and even after 22 years, <laughs> we still see everything differently, and we'll say to you, black, white, yes, no, red, green. So we're going to keep a tally of who listens to which one of us the most. <laughs> and then at the end of the residency, you'll get a bonus prize. <laughs> Our work isn't inspired by Africa, it's inspired by people we meet on our travels, whether that be a country in Africa or a country in Southeast Asia. And uh, what motivated us at the very, very beginning were, was our interest, to, interest in tribalism. Tribalism, but also uh, cultures that still have a reverence for the earth, cultures that still are very grounded and close to the earth cultures whose knowledge base is fading because they are being displaced because they don't quite move as fast as the rest of us move so we feel in a way uh, to have conversation with these individuals and bring forward the wisdoms that their grandmothers grandfathers carry um, is sort of what our work uh, sings and celebrates we ended up in northwest namibia uh, and we went there specifically because of the Himba people. We've always been interested in, in women's issues and, and the beauty of these people um, took our breath away. And check these out, Jenny, so we, maybe you can make some of those. Oh yeah. <laughs> this residency has come at an absolutely perfect time in the evolution of this new work. And with the skilled team, we can create something that is professional and, as with all our work, we'll live with it for quite a while before we decide exactly how it will be completed, whether it's a part of an assemblage or whether we'll pursue it. It's looking beautiful. Beautiful. We're 98% convinced we will be pursuing the portraiture of the Himba, but these other graphic symbols and such we'll just have to see. So this is the woman we met, we took her photo. Then we put it in Photoshop and we turn it into a black and white. We bring up the contrast so we have a really nice black white image. Then we have the glass patty. We line it up under the image, line up my ink and squeegee it through. We flash the image in the glory hole a couple times to bring up the heat. And by that time the team has the bubble ready and they come over and drop the bubble right down and pick up this wink. Our goal for the residency, residency is we're hoping that our vision of uh, the beauty of the Himba comes through in the glass is conveyed uh, in, in the medium. And to sense the reverence that we feel having had a brief encounter with these, this incredible culture uh, which is fading. Um, we also are attempting to push the forms. We initially started with these or some orb forms, but with the prowess of this team, we are able to crisp that form. We're able to push it into dimensions that Sabrina and I, without a lot of trial and error, uh, we would not be able to achieve. So we're also being students of how Nico and his team are manipulating the material to achieve our design goals. We love the Museum of Glass. <laughs> this is our third residency, and each time we've had a residency, we've explored something out of our normal comfort level and our genre. Yeah, so but simultaneously, with this incredibly new body of work, by not sweating over the perfection of form, we're able to freeform in our mind, do we want to pursue this form? What is the imagery saying to us? Is there, are there other issues that we can focus on creatively outside of the technical mastery of the material, also, which is something we've not really let go in the past. And, and also, when you're in the process and when you're observing, you can see something that you don't necessarily see if you're working it, but if you're outside of it and looking in, you could go, oh, oh, I, oh we can do this and, and turn it into this. So uh, Jenny and I have always been process oriented. And um, so it's just, it's really nice because even yesterday I was, I was looking at it going, oh, okay, okay, okay now we're gonna take that. We're, now we're gonna, we're gonna do this. And so. Um, so now today we've completely lost our focus because <laughs> the opportunities are endless. <laughs>